trying to make sure that we're, you know, that the parents get involved along with the kids, which will, uh, you know, bring the model railroading back. Once people get into it, it sticks with you. <laughs> been around and you've seen the steam engines and the diesel engines and the electric engines and uh, it just it's just fascinating if people a lot of people have come and they said oh we rode that train over like a Strasbourg or we rode that train out west because the members bring in different trains and uh, when they see them on the layout then it just you know just throws back memories uh, I think that is one of the main things that draws people in, and it kind of gets in your blood. I think maybe 44, 45 somewhere I got my first train, which I still have. I still operate it on my own layout. I don't bring it here, but I have it on my own layout. And I just, I just love being around the trains. And You're never finished. Layouts are never finished. You're always adding to it, developing it. You see something else and say, oh, I would like to put that on my layout. You just never finished. I do travel, but it's not usually by rail. I usually travel by car. Yeah, I don't, I don't do a lot of rail travel. I do go up to the Stroudsburg, carry my grandchildren up there. When they come into town, they love it. So I love it too. Um, do travel to Pittsburgh on the trains now and then. That's just to get the grandchildren onto real trains, which they love. A lot of new members that have never been into railroading or model railroading that are experiencing it and learning and they are now building their own layouts in their own homes. They come to members and ask for help. So I would say join the club and we'll be glad to help you.